Hello, it's the Style Con coming at you today from the Tobacco Company in Lemoyne, Pennsylvania. We're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we're just going to do like a walk around the store, show you what's involved. Like I told you guys before, you have a lot of parking. I'm just going to scan the parking lot. Uh, you have a couple of restaurants in here, a bookstore. Uh, they have like a nail shop on the other side, a little day spa. So if you wanted something else to do just besides smoke a cigar, you want to grab some food over here at the uh, Korean restaurant, you can go ahead and do so. And then out front, even though you can't see it, a couple of Mercedes here and a Chrysler 300M. But this is the area I typically film my videos from. Uh, I have someone crossing in front of me. Once again, I'm live, so this is going to happen. So, nice little sitting area. I wish they would put a deck off to the side. Hint, Greg, hint. Even though I don't know if they can do it. And then they, of course, uh, do uh, cigars and they do pipes. Walk-in humidor. And this is the area you'll find me at 100% of the time. Now, they do offer a private membership. Uh, I'm walking up to the door now. And you have a keypad. What's nice about this place is you can come in here 24-7. So as long as you uh, join the club, I think it's $150 a year, uh, but don't hold me to that. You just punch your little code into the keypad, and you can go in any time of day you like. Then we're just going to walk in. Uh, and it has the hours on the door. Now, this is the funniest thing to me. Obviously, you can see the hours. I've been to this place at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock on a Friday night, a Thursday night. There's still guys in here and they're selling cigars. So I don't go by the, I mean, you might want to go by the sign and what it says. But uh, I've been here plenty of times and there have been people here earlier than 9 and later than 8. Thank you. All right, this is where you can get all the pipe tobacco. If you need any help, the gentleman that's standing right there with the military cut, Eric, trying to hide his face, can help you out with anything in here. He's very knowledgeable. This is the first sitting area as you come in. I have a gentleman enjoying a cigar on this kind of cold day here in Pennsylvania. Then, of course, you know, you have a ton of lighters you can purchase. You have hats. Uh, if you're into the K-Cups, you can purchase those. They have a coffee maker on the other side. And then all types of products that you can purchase. All right. Eric's a little camera shy, so we'll do like a, a little chin in below. Okay, you got little baskets if you want to load up on some cigars. And then, of course, they do sell some cigarettes here. Uh, if you want a cold beverage, you can go ahead and grab one. ATM if you're running a little low on cash. If you need a little protein in your life, you can get that here. Humidors. More cigars. And we'll... Take a walk into the humidor. All right. Eric's going to be so kind to open up the door for me. I feel privileged. <laughs> no, it's I do feel privileged. <laughs> All right. Humidor is fairly large. They do have, like, discount bins. Sometimes you can find some good stuff in these. So if you do come into the area and you're looking to save a little money on some decent cigars... These are typically the three each, or four for ten. They're like the bundles. They break them down. But then you can find some good stuff in here. It's uh, six dollars each, or three for fifteen. And I'll just pull some of the selection out so you can take a look at it. They actually have some decent stuff in here at a good price. So depending upon what you're looking for, I would check these bins out. Then of course you have humidification throughout the place and then we'll just run down the line of cigars there's just all kinds and most of these cigars are good I mean I've been smoking them for a while now and needless to say those of you who have been smoking for a long time know at one time not all cigars were good 
they were just pumping them out and people were trying to make money as soon as they possibly could and needless to say the quality was pretty crappy now I've had the majority of everything in this shop and needless to say I think the majority of cigars are good now I can pretty much tell you everything that I like personally because obviously cigars are subjective so you might like what you like and I might like what I like but I think most brands are good and I can pretty much tell you when I see something I don't like which is far and in between they have your expensive cigars if you want to go up to $19 $20 a stick some for 30 uh, I'm not going to give away their secrets but if you are looking for different things uh, they can order them for you and then like most cigar shops they keep like their acids and the flavored cigars out of the humidor itself with the, the breast so they have a couple of cases right here you have your Java's and then they do have something I really like uh, the cafe from nub those are pretty good and a little reasonable better reasonable price than say the Java's are then obviously you have all the acids which I do like to me this is a great cigar if you're going to a bar or a deck that's outside and people don't like cigar odors and you want to be polite I jump on some of the Java's or the acids you know they have a nicer aroma most people aren't put off by it but sometimes when I do go to places that have decks and outside bars I do like smoking a regular cigar and I don't mean this to be a dick but this is the reason why I do it sometimes I like to sit by myself another one to have a drink and relax so what I do is I just get a cigar that I know people are going to be turned off by and then they'll leave me alone and but then some people are cigar smokers and I've had it where they've come up to me it's like oh that smells good you know uh, where'd you get it at and then it's like okay this is where I purchased the cigars at so you do have a couple different types of people but the majority of them not big into the odor which is fine with me because when I'm smoking a cigar to be quite honest I can't smell it so you see all the varieties that they have here I'm not, probably not going to hit it all up, but I'm just going to give you a general idea of what they do have because I don't want to make this video last too long. But pretty much anything you could want, they have. Alright. Then they have some newer stuff, which actually I really like these cigars. And to me, I'm going to pick out one cigar here. Obviously, they have a lot of Rocky Patel stuff, so if you're into Rocky... They probably have the best selection in the area. But to me, this is a cigar that's highly underrated. And you don't see people smoking these too often. But I'm a big fan of the Leaf. And then you have your Padrones on the other side. I like those. The La Flor Dominicanas, they have a nice selection. So if you're interested in a nice cigar and you want a nice little place to come to, I would highly recommend this place. It's about five minutes outside of Harrisburg. And you will not be disappointed. Like I said, I'm not going to hit up everything they have in here. And then we're going to take a walk to the other side. This is pretty much two parts. We have the first side that has... Oh, sorry. We have the first side that has the cigars and the accessories that you might need from the, obviously the humidors to the ashtrays. over to the other side and you might want to read the sign pause if you like members only after nine but then that's where that keypad comes to in the front you have a, the main area right here 
Of course, a bunch of chairs, television. That's the door into the private part of the club. Chairs. Obviously, a ton of ashtrays lying around the place. Uh, the K cup machine, if you want to use that. Another little sitting area, lockers, pool table, high bar table, more lounge chairs. Obviously, pool table and sticks are offered. Got a little back area here. Sink. They do have a refrigerator, so if you want to bring your drinks in here, may it be beer or some scotch or whatever you like, you can pop that in there and relax. They do offer glasses and cups, so if you need something to use, you have it right here. And this particular door is where the man throne is, the bathroom, if you ever need to use that. And we're going to go into the back room. Of course, another high table. Old Coca-Cola machine. Lounge area. Video games. Workstation. Another television. Poker table. And extra seating if you need it. And we're just going to walk out. All right. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. This is the inside of the Tobacco Company in Lemoyne, Pennsylvania. If you're interested in stopping by, you can check it out in the yellow pages or just look it up on your smartphone. It's not a hard location to find. Once again, it's a style con. I'll see you in the next video.